Fire survivors are slowly getting things together, including a Cohasset man who says he has been living a lifelong dream of having a home in the mountains until the fire swept through. The North State's News Minnesota has their story. There was wind forecasted. I just thought, I, this, I think this might be it. This could be the summer that Cohasset burns. Austin Peterson says he was finally living out his dream of having a place in the mountains, making a home in Cohasset with a six-year-old daughter. We camped out in the front yard a few times in a, in a tent, and um, that's one, one of our things that we like to do. My vision was come into reality. On July 24th, that vision came to a halt. The park fire leveling his mobile home and burning through all his tools and some music equipment. I, I kept some, I brought down in my car enough music equipment to keep, keep playing music with my band. He says it's a loss that understandably took some time to process. Realizing that I don't have a home. I don't have a place to go home to at the end of the day or a place for my daughter to come home to after school. Austin is fundraising on GoFundMe with plans to eventually build his own home in Cohasset. It's a, commu a community I want to continue to be a part of and, and show my daughter what, what it's like to, to be in a community of people. Days ago, receiving a trailer from someone who lost his home in the campfire six years ago. He said, I want to pass it along to you. I heard, I heard that you lost your home. All of a sudden it was like, wow, um, people really care. He's now looking for a spot to place the trailer, but says he hopes he can pass it on when he's done. I'm hoping to have the opportunity to pass the trailer along to somebody else who needs it. That was Monosotic reporting. We have a link to Austin's GoFundMe on krcrtv.com.